Hello everybody, welcome to linuxn.com YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about for loops. So previous videos were about if statements, they were about while loop, until loop. In today's video we're going to talk about bash for loop. So if you don't know what a loop is, in that case, I would tell you that loops are one of the fundamental concepts of programming languages. Loops are handy when you want to run a series of commands over and over again until a certain condition is met. Okay, there are three basic loops in Bash script: while loop, until loop, for loop. We have done first two. Let's talk about for loop. So the for loop basically iterates over a list of items and performs a given set of commands that you would basically give. The Bash for loop has a basic syntax, and I'm going to show you. Here you can see that this is the basic concept of for loop. You have for, then you have a list, and then you have a member. Member basically uh, you know loops through the list and it would uh, if you're printing out member then it would print out all the elements inside the list and in the body of the for loop you can see we have do and we have different commands command one command two command three so on and so forth you can have multiple commands here all right and then you have that done which means that for loop is ending right here okay so now let's go ahead and let's do a simple example to show you that how you can do it. So there are basically two kind of lists in for loop usually. One is of integer type and the other one is of string type. So let's go ahead and let's do an example related to the string first. Okay. Then we'll take a look on to the integer type. Okay. So let's go ahead. Uh, let me just remove all of that. Okay. So I will just remove these commands and then basically I would give here a variable instead of member. Let's call it car. Okay, for car in and then I create a list here. Okay, so let's say that this is a list of cars. So I write here BMW and then I write here Mercedes and then I write here uh, Range Rover and then I write here Toyota and then I write here Honda. Okay, so five car companies the name I have written off Here in the list and now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna act through them Okay, so what I would do I would just come here and then I would write here echo and Then I'm gonna write here car Okay, so let's just save it control O we save it we come out of here uh, of the script and now we are going to run our script hit enter and you can see that it has printed out all the car company's name on my screen right so how did it do that so we'll just go inside the script again and you can see that this is a car which is a variable and it goes through each element of this list one by one and it keeps on printing it until the list has ended okay so the last element if you could see here if i could show you the last element is honda and it starts from bmw okay and if we go inside the script here you can see that the first element is bmw and the last element is honda so that's how you basically perform a for condition on strings okay so we have done for condition over strings now we're gonna do that for loop over a number range okay so let's go ahead and let's do it so in order to do that for numbers um, the thing is that it is not that much different you just write here a variable name let's call it uh, i okay so previously we had a car variable for a string we write here i and then we write here in and now we basically specify a range. We could also do something like this one, two, three, four, five, and that would be perfectly fine. But you can also specify a range here, okay? So you could write here um, zero, let's say you start the range from zero and you write here 10. So now what would happen that if I do here echo i, what's gonna happen that it is going to print out all numbers from 0 to 10 all right so let's go ahead and let's see what happens we save it we come out of here we run our script 
And here you can see that it has printed out all the numbers from 0 to 10. Okay, so that's how you basically specify a range. And if you want to do something like this, uh, as I have told you before, so if you want to do something like this, 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you could also do that. So if we save, it, save this, Control X, run our script. Oh, excuse me. We're going to run our script. And here you can see that we have numbers from 0 to 5. All right. Hope you've got the point. So there is another concept that you can increment this range as well. So for example, we have number 0 to 10. If we want an increment of 3 between each number, we can do that. So let's go ahead and let's see how, we, how can we do that. So we go to our script and here we have 4i in. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to have a range here. Let's say we have a range to 50. Okay. So we would have a range. 0 to 50 okay so this is range and then if you want to give an increment you have to put two dots and here you would give the increment so now what would happen that it would print out every number between 0 to 50 with an increment of 5 so it's not going to print 0 1 2 3 4 5 it's going to print out 0 5 and then it's going to print out 10 15 and so on and so forth so let's see that what happens. So we control X come out of here and we run our script. And you can see that it has printed out 0, then it has printed out 5, 10, 15 with an increment of 5. Okay. So if you want to change the increment, you could also do that. You know, you could verify it basically. So let's do an increment of 3. Okay. So if we save it now, come out of here, let me just clear it, let me just run the strip, you can see that it is printing out every number with an increment of 3 between 0 and 50. Okay, hope you've got the point, that was pretty simple. In the similar way, you can run for loop over arrays and you can also run this for loop in a way that you run it in C programming language. Okay, so the idea is that in C programming language, it gives you a little bit of edge, okay, in comparison to the standard bash loop. All right, so the, the edge is that you could basically increment right away inside the same line. You could, uh, you know, have one statement of for loop. And you don't have to increment separately, you can increment in the same line uh, while using that uh, C loop. Okay, let's call it C loop. So let's go ahead and let's try to do that as well. So in C loop, basically it is pretty simple. You initialize a variable, then you set a condition, you set an increment, and then basically you write down all the commands that you want to write. Okay, so right now uh, we're going to jump into that. So we would go to the world.sh file. So the idea is that the C loop that I was talking about, it's something like this. So the first line, you have i equals 0. You have i less than 10, which is a condition essentially. Then we have i increment, okay? Then you basically echo it, right? So simple is that. So now if we basically control O, save it. Control X, come out of here. Let me just clear it. Now if I run my script, here you can see that it is printing out from 0 to 10 and why is that because if you go back here you can see that the condition is i less than or equal to 10 so that's why it is printing out 10 the loop doesn't break on 10 when i becomes 10 it doesn't break it breaks on when i become 11 right because still this condition would be true that's why it is printing out the value from 0 to 10 if you want to run an infinite loop you could also do that this is uh, the point here in this for loop um, in order to run the infinite loop all you have to do is that you have to remove everything condition variable initialization increment and then you're going to write here echo and let's call it infinite loop for loop press control c or control 
v to n. Okay. So the idea is that this for loop is going to run forever. Okay. So you can see that it's running, it's running, it's running. It's an infinite loop. It's never gonna stop, right? So just go ahead and press Control V or C. You know, it would basically terminate the program. Okay. So the program is terminated. That's why the loop was terminated, right? So this program is never gonna end. It's gonna run infinite times. All right. I think unless you basically you know stop running the script all right so that's it from this video i hope you have enjoyed it this was all about for loops if i have missed anything mention that in the comments below thank you so much for watching and for written articles you can always visit our website linuxin.com you can follow us on our twitter twitter.com slash bye for now